Hey guys, I'm over here at MCM with Sean Kelly. Hello. 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 How are you? I'm doing great. How about yourself? I'm not too bad. Tired after this third day of filming, so how about yourself? Uh, I'm very tired myself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. So how are you finding the convention for the, all of it? Well, it's, it's amazing, man. Uh, I think this uh, convention here in London gets like 120,000 mm. fans. It's completely sold out. Yeah. So it's great. I love it. I love getting a chance to meet all the fans. Mm. Oh, that's good. Have you had many, like, loads of people come up to you already? Many what? And have you had mo mo uh, multiple fans come up to you already? Oh, I've, I have had a queue here uh, all day long mm. until now. And I had one all day on Friday. Really? Yeah, I've met thousands of fans. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. All right, we've got some questions for you. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what made you want to become an auctioneer? Well, uh, so I, I'm a stand-up comedian, and I've been a stand-up comedian for 16 years. And a buddy of mine who was an auctioneer said, hey, you would make a great auctioneer, and you could raise money for nonprofits. So I originally became a charity auctioneer, raising money for Children's Hospital, Make-A-Wish Foundation, all that stuff. And then uh, I discovered uh, storage auctions, and I started doing those, and I thought, wow, this would make a great TV show. Yeah. So I shot it and took it to LA, and here we are, 44 countries later. Yeah, no, I know you've, you've got the uh, American one, and then you've got the UK one, which That's is right. which is completely different towards um, the American version. That's very right. Much, very much. So, um, da -da -da, um, um, so how is the show shot then? Because it's obviously it's very. You have they will be asking normal questions like you know you're. Asking, you know, getting from the bins, and suddenly it will break away to have them separate. How, how does that all work then? How do? Okay, you have um, to clarify that. All right. So basically, say that you're you're doing the bins, and suddenly yeah. you'll have uh, Jesse, and he'll say like, you know, it'll cut away to a segment of him on like a green screen or something, and he's going like, oh, this bin, I've you know, I've always wanted this bin. Oh yeah. yeah. So, so how what happens is, uh, uh, you know, when you on TV when you see it, we cut mm -hmm. the lock, the door goes up, and I say you got a, you got a couple of minutes, yeah. get a quick look, and I sell it. Well, as people, when they, after they go and look, then we pull them off to the side right there while everybody else is still looking, and we just do a real quick, short, you know, 15-second interview, yeah. and then we kick them back in. So we just do, just on the main bidders, yeah. we just pull them off, do a 15-second, kick them back in the mix. Uh, so all, it all happens very fast. Yeah, I'd always wondered, because I thought maybe it had been shot afterwards, and they have to re, like, re nope. go on that one. Nope, right in the spot, right yeah. in the moment, before they even know what's inside. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's Thank interesting. You. All right. Um, so, with all the different personalities, um, are they exactly the same on the show, or are they kind of put on, or...? I would say there's no put-ons. I mean, they're all pretty much, the, what you see is what you get. Some of them might actually try to tone it down a little bit, because yeah. they don't want to look, like, horrible on TV. Yeah. So some of them try to act a little nicer on camera than they really are in real life. Yeah. Uh, and then some of them, I think, come across one way on TV, but in real life, they're actually maybe nicer than they come across. So it is, yeah. it's weird, it's weird. Once people get in the auction, and I get them all worked up, they get yeah. emotional, so they don't act like they normally, you know, just walking down the street. Mm. Because uh, I really get in people's face, yeah. give them a nickname, piss them off. <laughs> You know, yeah, gets them out of sorts. Oh no, yeah, I've seen. I, it's because I asked Jesse when you guys were at Wrexham Comic Con, um, and I, I didn't know if that was a kind of a put on where he goes, "Oh, I'm not a big fan of them," um, or if that was just him playing up to the role type thing. No, I think that's the way it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's cool. Right. Um, do that. Um, so, when you're actually doing bids, um, yeah. you start saying, "All right, this is like ten dollars. It's a ten pounds watch." Yeah. And then you do the da 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 da. What, are you, is it just literally sound or are you actually saying words really sped up? All right, here we go. I'm gonna start the bidding outfit, 25 pound now, 50, 50, 50 pound, pound, 75, 75, 75 pound, now I'm 100, right? Yeah. I'm bid 100 pound now, 25, 125, 150, 150, 150, 200 pound now, bidder, bidder now, 100 bidder now. I'm bid 100 dollar bidder now, two now, two now, 200 dollar bidder now, bidder now, bidder now, and speeding it up and rolling all my R's. Yeah. And then just really fast. I'm being one number two, two number three, number four, five, five, number ten, ten, number twenty, number twenty, number twenty, number forty. Ah, so that's it. So I've been trying to think. What is that? It's yeah. if it was something else, if you're just saying words in there. And it's and it's uh the the it's called bid calling chant, and it's meant to be hypnotic. Mm. You know what I mean? And people just kind of get into the rhythm of it, yeah. and you just keep going. Mm. And uh, if, if you do it right, you can run the numbers up high. Really? <laughs> yeah. Ah, so that's how. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right. Um. So this is gonna wrap it up. With um, what do you think about the American versus like the UK edition? Oh, I love them both, man. Uh, I think they're different. Mm. Yeah, obviously, we have different things that you're gonna find in a storage unit in America that you won't necessarily find in the UK. We found some cool stuff in the UK we didn't find back in the states. I think uh, what the characters make it too. The bidders. I mean, 
you know, um, it's been fun working with a whole new set of bidders because I worked with the American uh, bidders for four years. So to come to the UK and get fresh faces that I can work with, it's fun. Oh, that's nice Enjoying it. Yeah. So will there be like kind of a crossover as like a special at some point? Because we normally see crossovers happening. Yeah. Um, so like well, series two comes out June second, yep. uh, two thousand fifteen. And in that very first series, you're going to see Team Money in the UK, oh. and then you're going to see Jesse in the UK. Yeah. So Jesse and Team Money came over for series two. Really? Oh, yeah. that's awesome! I can't wait to see it. Yeah. I say, well, thank you very much for your time. Uh, thank, thank you, you very much. Cool. Yeah. So uh, thanks very much, guys, and I will see you in a bit.